everybody it's the gaming garbage man we're gonna be going through e3 day by day here's day one also known as the ea conference there was a new star wars title announced called star wars jedi fallen order with absolutely no gameplay no trailer nothing but a 2019 release date uh, that's gonna turn into 2021 after about four more delays guaranteed also fuck battlefront any news about battlefront fuck it uh, speaking of battles there's battlegrounds 5 with a battle royale mode now and the tacked on single player campaign where you play as a woman in world war ii wowzer wowzer and the destructible environments do look cool but it probably won't be as many as you think anthem looks like it could be the next great mmorpg first person shooter destiny killer but bioware has fooled me before if they can nail the world building and character customization they got this uh the no loot box announcement makes me think they'll still have microtransactions just not in the traditional sense unravel 2 came out to about the same amount of hype as the first unravel meaning exactly none the usual sports game franchises with ever so slightly enhanced graphics and effects and the last game command and conquer mobile diarrhea for the non ea announcements there was code vein from bandai namco which looks slick as fuck man i'm excited for this one and then there's dead or alive 6 from koi tecmo uh it's dead or alive it'll be good but uh, it's gonna be one of those wait to buys uh, most of this information was gleaned from IGN. They're on top of it this year, as they usually are. They get most of the good information. Um, tomorrow, day two, Xbox. I am looking forward to it. I know it's going to be a real disappointment, but Microsoft has a chance, and this is it. Uh, this is the Gaming Garbage Man. Really quick reviews of E3. We'll see you tomorrow for day two. Thanks a lot. Peace.